OTC prescription. Only the pharmacist should recommend an OTC medication or determine which OTC medicine is requested on the prescription. Step four. Is a prescription for a schedule two drug? Check with the pharmacist on all schedule two prescriptions. Complete schedule two perpetual inventory log as appropriate. And from the banker too. It says will this prescription interact with the meds are you? Prescription written. How many days or weeks has it been since it was written? <laughs> Check with the pharmacist to determine, determine if the prescription can be filled if it is more than a few days old. Some prescriptions may be valid for months, but others must be verified if they are more than a few days old. Step six. Is a drug available in the pharmacy in the quantity written? Does it require consequences? Inform the patient if there may be a delay in filling the prescription. And this man was saying on the phone, he was saying, he was unhappy that I when he was unhappy to learn that I had prescribed a placebo. But when I told him it was an extra strength placebo, he was pleased. Step number seven. Is the prescription suspicious in any way? Is it written on a legitimate prescription blank and all in the same handwriting and with the same ink? Are there any signs of alteration of quantity, strength, or the name of the drug? Is there a possible drug of the is is this a possible drug of abuse? And if so, do the quantities and directions seem appropriate? Alert, alert the pharmacist to any potential forgeries. Let the pharmacist follow through with the patient, the prescriber, and law enforcement if necessary. And this cartoon is a please read, reading and Miranda right? And it's, you have the right to remain silent, but then if you really need to talk, I'm here for you. And uh, I have the answers after this to the worksheet. So, number one was A. Number two was D. Three was C. Four was F. Five was G. Six was E, and seven was B. Uh, 